is that coming from? You know, where, where's this contrast? If I'm in such a good place, then how is it that bad things still happen sometimes? And am I responsible for that? Or is there, more importantly, is there a connection between something inside my own vibration and whatever that thing is that happened? And the answer is yes, there is. That there's a connection always between your vibration and what's happening. But the thing is, if you're in a good place and something bad happens, maybe that thing is not as bad as it seems. Maybe that's actually the quickest way to you you to get to where you want to be. For example, someone loses a job. That job opportunity now is the pathway to their whole new career that they would have never had if they didn't first have to close that door for whatever that reason may be. And it happens in relationships. It happens um, in your career, in your personal life, all the time where things take a turn that doesn't seem like what we've attracted, doesn't seem like what I'm focused on, but might be just another route to get there. And being willing to appreciate all of it for whatever reasons, even the ones you can't see right now, is huge. That feeling of appreciation and gratitude for even the things that you don't quite understand in this moment is what helps you to get to that end goal that much faster. I can't get too caught up again in the route, you know? So when it takes a turn, I'm like, this doesn't really serve me. This isn't really looking like what I thought. Instead, I say, well, this is good. This is interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this fits into the puzzle. And there's some things that happen where I can't go there yet. I actually don't see how they fit in at all. And in that case, I don't go there at all. I don't spend too much time trying to figure out the things that I don't understand or more importantly focused on why they don't actually fit in my current plan because the plan's unfolding constantly. And maybe it is the perfect piece to that plan. And trusting in this, you gotta, can't be, have your foot in the pool. It's gotta be all or nothing, you know? And being willing to say, I'm in control of how I feel. That's all I can control. The things that are happening to me are a reflection of the goals and the desires that I set in my relationship to them. And if something's happening that doesn't seem to fit in line, either one of two things is happening. Either my vibration is attracting the opposite of what I want, so I'm not in maybe even subconsciously where I thought I'd be, or whatever's happening is exactly what's supposed to happen and is right on my path and is the exact thing that's gonna lead me to that ultimate happiness that I'm looking for. So sometimes you just gotta go with it, you know? And if you try too hard to figure it all out in that moment, you're gonna end up, again, on that how, why, where, what, which is so present instead of that end goal of where you're going and why you want it to be in that place in the first place. You know, so they say easier said than done, or, and I know, it's if someone has told me, breathe and be positive and all your problems will be solved, I just, especially with like the prescription drug stuff, it was like, okay, I have a real problem and a chemical imbalance and you're telling me that something I do every day is gonna solve that problem and being so adamantly against that possibility is what held me from this working, why it didn't work for me, you know? But when I shifted my beliefs and I decided to, you know, if I'm gonna practice this, how can I really embrace this to the fullest in every aspect, even on the difficult subjects like my family, like how can I find the good in it all? Um, and in making the effort to do that, more good things come every time. Things start to just become more clear and focused. And since I've already experienced that and I know that that's what happens, you have to hold on to those experiences and dealing with something else that's unfamiliar because you know that it's gonna work out. It always does. And any time wasted, because that's what it is. If you're, you know, if you plant a seed and you go keep digging it back up, is it gonna grow? It's not gonna grow. If you watch the boiling water, how long is it gonna take? A really long time before it starts to boil. You've gotta just plant the seed, you water it, you know that it's growing, you take joy when that first leaf pops out, you know that soon there is gonna be a fruitful plant. But nature doesn't happen overnight, right? Nothing in nature, it's a long course for things, you know? And if nature is so patient but so beautiful, then we have to apply that same kind of patience and confidence in our own lives to see that same type of beauty you know and we can look back and say you know and things that I was able to just let go and be confident in it really didn't work out and how can I do that with things like money where right now it looks different or you know maybe some other things in your life that are like real life right now you know and this is what's happening now how can I let my feelings dictate those circumstances and not let those circumstances dictate my feelings and staying focused on where you want to go practice being there and most importantly being aware when you're not there.